I feel like we did a little flashback to Pac-12 media bit. day with you good. guys here. Yeah, it's good to be here. Appreciate you guys. All right, yeah. congratulations for both of you guys on Thank the you. win. Thank Do you, you ever not smile? Uh, <laughs> only out there on the field, you know. Sometimes <laughs> you gotta... I've even seen that though a couple times on the football <laughs> hey, field court, and it's usually on your way into the end zone. H- how special a game and a performance was this for you to be able to do it inside the Rose Bowl? Oh yeah, it's awesome. You know, offensive line they were amazing. Our receivers they were awesome. The tight ends were awesome. Coach Kelly just calling up the plays. I just have to do my job. You know, our defense was spectacular tonight. Sure. Chris was amazing. So, you know, we just got to do what we can do and control what you can control. You know, I'm curious, is this team, I mean, two wins, the way that you guys dominated this game, is this team starting to hit its stride right about now? Um, you know, I would say so. I think, you know, we finally figured out what we want to do as a team. And um, coming off that bye week, we kind of figured, finally figured things out. Um, so to show on display this week and last week, and, um, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. Um, our offense is, is rolling on, on, on high cylinders. Yeah. Special teams are doing amazing things. Defense is kicking it up. Um, so, you know, for us, just keep it rolling. From here on to here out will be a good thing for us. Chris, specifically, what was happening in that first half against ASU? It felt like offensively they couldn't get anything going against what you guys were doing. Um, yeah, most definitely. You know, they're a great team, great opponent for sure. But, uh, you know, as a defense, we came out with a mentality of, like, you know, we're going to bring it to you guys. Um, we played the same game plan that we want to play all practice. Um, and we came out there and executed the way we want to execute. Um, vertical defense, you know, we're coming at you. We're going to be physical. We're fast. We're flying. And I think it showed tonight. You know, I'm curious, whenever these guys are turning the ball over to you, I mean, is there a, is there a sense of, you know, all of a sudden you get, they're running off the field, I see them <laughs> high-fiving you guys running on the field in terms of like, all right, we got yeah. you, we got you, and then back and forth. And in particular, it wasn't always even a pretty game for you guys. Right. Times when maybe you turned the ball over, things weren't going your way, three sacks given up, that you guys looked at the defense and say, all right, you guys got our backs here. Yeah, for sure. Our defense always has our back. We know those guys are dogs. <laughs> They're amazing for us, and especially like early on in the season, they were carrying this team. So us offensively, we know like turnovers are coming. We got to turn those into points. But yeah, it's great to have a defense that's like that. You know, our guys are hard, competitive. Our front seven's amazing. Our DBs are great. So it's great to have a great defense. Joshua, what's it like to see Dorian have the type of game that he had? Yeah. Because this was something that, that Ted Robinson and Yogi Roth during the broadcast kept talking about. The, the lack of long-term experience that he has had as a quarterback, even going back to his high school days, didn't have, as Chip Kelly would say, a lot of at-bats, right? right? But he seems like he's growing more and more comfortable as the season unfolds. Oh, yeah, man. Dorian, he's amazing. You know, he's super talented. We know what type of quarterback we were getting. He's getting better and better each and every week. And he's also growing so much as a leader for us. So it's awesome to see his, his just development. You know, we love Dorian. We ride for him. And, you know, it, sky's the limit for him, for real. You know, I'm curious, too, for you. The season started off, you were a little banged up, and then you started to work. Is this the best that you felt at this point of the season? Um, I would say so. I think the training staff here is awesome. You know, I'm just getting better and better, trying to get better every single week, practice. Every single time I got to go hard to get better for the game. So, yeah, I'm physically feeling really, really well right now. <laughs> and that's all due to the training staff and my teammates. Because I, sure. I, I got to feel like if you're feeling better now, I don't want to be any of those teams who have to see you in the right, in the second half of the season. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. You know, they're going to be fired up for us. So it's going to be a great challenge for us down the stretch. <laughs> Chris, can you just paint a picture? We got UCLA fans here, right? They've been oh, watching yeah. this team. Sir. Fours up, baby. Fours up. <laughs> Yes, sir. Go Bruins. Yes, go They're Bruins. Here. They're supporting you guys. And the yes. start of the season, look, you guys have had some ups and downs, especially the last two cam- campaigns. What's this, what's it like inside that locker room? Um, in the locker room, you know, it's, it's a great feeling to go back after a win, go in there, celebrate your brothers, you know, do our, our, our victory yell, whatever it is, and, um, you know, just have that feeling of, Everything we put our work in um, during the practice and even off season is, is translating onto the field now. And then looking into the stands and seeing our fans, you know, giving it, they're all for us all four quarters and um, just having them by our side and having us, you know, get us going when we, when we need them, you know, it's, it's, it's good for us. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good feeling right now in Westwood for sure. D- does it feel desperate, though, as you guys are preparing, coming off of maybe some losses at the practice, going, man, like, what do we need to do? We're still grinding here. It, it hasn't equaled wins. Like, what, what's it actually like to be around an environment like that? We just got to stick with it, you know. We have so much confidence in our coaching staff, our yep. players here, everything. So we told ourselves, we know we work hard. You know, we have what it takes. We have the talent. It's going to come together for us. We believe it. So I try to stay as positive as I can, you know. And this is, <laughs> and I think we're finally hitting our stride. But we got to keep getting better and better. Definitely. Well, Chris, I'm curious. You guys had a huge challenge here playing against one of the best offenses yeah. in the Pac-12. Jaden Daniels, Eno yeah. Benjamin, Brandon Ayuk, all those. Yeah. And then you get to celebrate. 
And then now you're right back to work as you face another great offense in Colorado coming up next week. What What is that challenge going to be like? And it, at some point, do you kind of get tired of all this? Like, man, can I just get a break one week? Uh, no, not at all. You know, we, we like the challenge, um, especially for us to show what we, what we got as, as, a, as a defense, an offense, special team. So we go out there every week, every practice, and we practice how we're going to practice to play. Um, we never get too high, never get too low off a win or a loss. We got to go back to the drawing board after every after, after every game, and so we got to do and make sure we fix what we got to fix. So when Saturday comes, we're playing out, out on high cylinders. I think we've done that so far. Yeah. All right, congratulations to both of you Thank guys. You. I want to leave you with this: four touchdowns, rushing touchdowns in this game, tied for the second most in school history in a single game. Yes, Only guy who's had more, Maurice Jones-Drew, had five. You are in good company. <laughs> <laughs> Offensive line, man, those boys deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> what a good team. Man. <laughs> Offensive line, give it some credit. Congratulations once again to you guys.